Hey miners, Mining King here. This is part two of the two part series I did. If you didn't check out the other video I did, it'll be linked up here in the card up top over here. This is, uh, this part right here is gonna be how to build a mining rig. So um, let's get right into it. All right guys, so just a quick note before we start getting into the video, if you guys could please check out the Discord link down below. All right, let's get back into it. All right, so for our parts today, um, I bought a, a mining rig used and I pretty much re refurbishing every part of it. So, um, so the first thing I did was I had to take apart everything and I redid all the graphics cards They've been cleaned over every inch, new thermal pads as well as thermal paste. Um, we also cleaned the CPU cooler. Um, so we have a Z270 uh, MSI motherboard with a 3900 and eight gigs of RAM. So this is gonna be our motherboard setup. We have six GTX 1070s. We have a EVGA 1300 watt um, G2 power supply. We also have some splitters because uh, we will utilize some splitters for, for the risers only. I try not to split on graphics cards if I can help it. We This is a eight GPU mining frame right here. Um, I don't have eight GPUs, but I'm hoping that I can space them out a little bit to kind of keep them a little bit cooler. We have all of our cables from our power supply as well as our SATA cable. We have our SSD with HiveOS on it. And then we have six AAA Wave. These are their new ones that just came out recently. This is their 10 cap uh, GPU riser. So these are all the parts you're gonna need to build your mining frame and get your rig up and running. So the first thing we need to do is build our frame. So let me get it unboxed and we'll get started. Okay guys, so um, if you decide to use this particular frame, I will leave a link down below as well as some of the other parts like the risers and the thermal pads and everything I use for this build, I will leave it linked down below if you guys want to use the same materials. Um, this particular frame is an eight GPU frame. Um, so they, they use a Phillips, uh, screw on everything. So I recommend Using a screw gun to make your life a little bit easier since this is a mining frame But never tighten down your GPUs with a screw gun. That is a big no-no um, So it comes with screws. It also has motherboard standoffs as well as a power button If you need a power button for your particular motherboard so you don't have to just short the pins out it also has I would say probably okay decent instructions they're pictures so it's pretty basic so let's uh let's start building Alright guys, so the frame is, the frame itself is done. It's pretty basic. Um, it was a little confusing how it goes inside and outside at the same time on that one. So I had to redo that kind of a little bit. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Now, alright, so I got my, my little crescent wrench here. So I'm just going to adjust it on here. And you don't, you don't need a whole lot of force, but you just need to... You want these to sit flush because you don't want you don't want the motherboard to short out or anything like that. So we're just we're just tightening. Okay, so now that we have our six standoffs here, we can now get our motherboard. And it's always best to hold your motherboard 
So I can kind of show you here. You want to hold it, just grab it by the cooler. So we're just going to line up our holes here. So, like I said, you do not want to use a screw gun. So I'm going to use my iFixit uh, screwdriver here. So we're going to put one in this corner. Then we're going to move the board over a little bit because I see it's not totally lined up. And we're going to put one in the opposite corner. There you go. You have successfully put in the motherboard. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is, is we're going to want to put in the power supply. And this part can get tricky a little bit because these frames don't always accommodate for ATX power supplies. Um, from how it looks to me, it should fit either on either side of this and it will probably sit right side up like this. Since these are facing away, um, I'm assuming that some of these holes will line up with your PSU holes so you can mount it somewhere on here. So as you can see, we have one hole here, and then they give you this piece right here that you mount like this, so that it'll go over both of these holes. Because there's a hole right here on the frame, and then there's a hole right there, as you can see. So let me get those. So there you go. We have our power supply all in. So, we have our PSU, we have our motherboard. So now we need to start hooking up some of our cables. Um, so first we're gonna do is, is we're going to hook up our 24 pin. We're gonna hook up our 24 pin, which is gonna go right here. So because there's no, there is no mounting holes right here on this edge, I'm gonna put my finger here just as a security precaution to not let the board flex so hard. Let's get that snap. We're gonna run our cable over this way. And then in the power supply, we're gonna plug it into the motherboard section. Now your mother, now your power supply may differ. Your 24 pin may be all two, just one solid piece for both sides. This particular one has two plugs. So it'll just depend whether you have a server power supply, ATX or what have you. So we now have power to our motherboard. Now we need to get our, go through our cables really quick here and find our CPU. Here we go, CPU. So a lot of times on cables, in case you don't know, they will have, sometimes have writing on them for you. So obviously this is for CPU. So we're gonna find a CPU coordinating, you know, port here, CPU one, since we're not using two of them. We're going to plug it into the CPU port right here, which is right there. It's usually always in the top corner here of the motherboard. Wait till you hear those clicks and also make sure to plug in your CPU fan to the CPU fan header right here. So make sure you always get your fan plugged in. You don't want your CPU. Oh, now we're on to the graphics part, sort of the side. So I kind of like to do this kind of like two things at once. So we're going to be putting in the risers with our graphics card. So what I do is I get it all unhooked. You want to plug in your USB cable here, plug it into the PCIe adapter to the motherboard. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is, is we're gonna use some of our splitters. So I did show these in the beginning. These are really nice 18 gauge uh, splitters here. Now I'm gonna split the piece, the, the risers here, just because they don't consume a lot of power. So I like to split off the risers. So 
we're going to just, and you don't need an eight pin, you only need just the six pin part. So I'm gonna plug in, and then you can see that it's locked in there. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is, is you're gonna take one of your graphics cards. Okay, now this one has a butterfly clip, which these are really nice because they just go up and down. Make sure you push it down and it's open. You just take it and just, and it'll just click right into place. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna set this right down here onto our frame right here, and then we're going to screw it in. Now, I bought these cards used, and the guy before me kind of bent these a little bit, so I'm gonna have a little bit of a hard time getting these to screw in, but do not use a screw gun on these, because this is how they get torqued. You don't wanna ruin them, so that's pretty much what it'll look like. So the only thing that we need to do, which we could, we're gonna do last, is we're gonna put power to the graphics card and power to the riser. And then what we're gonna do is, is we need to find a nice way to route these cables. Um, so we're gonna route this underneath here. Now it's very important that you do not face this the wrong way. You will fry your motherboard and possibly fry your card. Do not put them in this way. Do not put them in this way or like this. Cause it won't, what you want is, is you want to put them in. So this little tab is over the PCIe slot this way. This lets you know that you put it in the correct slot. I have seen people put them in the wrong way. You will fry this lane, possibly fry the board or fry the graphics card. Okay, so next guys, we need to hook up our splitters as well as power up our video cards. So um, I'm gonna use some of these uh, daisy chains to connect to our, our GPUs here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find VGA1 down in our power supply. So we're just gonna start off one by one. So with the splitters, you only have to use a six pin. You don't need the eight pin. So there's one, there's one hooked up and then here is going to be two. We're gonna get another daisy chain and this time I'm gonna hook it up to another BGA port that's a little further down this way so we get a little more reach. So we're powering two, four splitters over here. Okay, now, I'm actually gonna change it to a single one here because there's only one more daisy or only one more splitter to run. So we're going to just do this single non daisy chain one over to these guys. Okay. Then we got a couple more. So we're going to use, we have our close, see we're gonna use our closest VGA so we're gonna try and get these two guys on here. So this is going to, these are eight pins. Ah, uh, see, this is gonna be our first problem. This is a six pin. So we may need to run some more splitters. So I'm gonna see what else I have left to go. This is also a single. So let's see here. I only have two more cables left and they're both singles. So I most definitely will have to use a splitter um, to get these powered up, which I, I'll be okay. It'll be pushing the limits a little bit, but we'll have enough power. So we're gonna split these off right here. So we're gonna put an eight pin here. We're gonna put another eight pin right here. We have our other single cable coming out here. 
Then we're going to tie into our splitter. Okay. I have three more. So that's the only set that I actually really need to split. So I try to use as little splitters as I can. So whenever you're spinning graphics cards like this, make sure you really watch your wattage. Um, you don't want to put too much power through these lines. So because I have to split some GPUs, um, and these ones are a little power hungry, so I will definitely be watching the uh, wattage. Well, all right, guys, it is a somewhat of a bird's nest, but this is essentially your mining rig. So give me a few minutes. Let me cable manage a little bit of this so we can at least look a little bit better. All right, guys, so I got it cable managed pretty well. Um, this frame is pretty tiny, so a lot of the cables just hang out the back, but I did manage what I wanted to manage. And like I said, I don't like to manage the actual USB data cables. I want them to be as straight as possible. So um, let's see if she'll turn on and let's hope there's no smoke. Oh, everything's good. We're not connected to the internet, but they are all on and all the fans are spinning. So that's good news. All right, guys. So that's gonna complete this video. Um, this is part two. This is how to build a mining rig. All right, guys. Make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe. And check out our Discord link down below. And remember, this is the Mining King giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.